Tukisonga mbele mtazamaji serikali za county zimeimarisha juhudi za kukabiliana na kusambaa kwa virusi vya corona huku zikipanua uwezo wao wa kushughulikia watu ambao wamedhibitishwa kuambukizwa virusi hivyo katika county nyingi serikali zinaelekeza pesa katika ununuzi na usambazaji wa maji mijini ili kuimarisha usafi na kutoa msaada wa vyakula katika jamii ambazo zimeathiriwa na janga hilo Kundi la kukabiliana na ugonjwa wa COVID-19 katika kaunti ya Narok limefanikiwa kuwatafuta na kuwapata watu 190 waliotangamana na watu 20 waliothibitishwa kwa mbukizo virusi vya corona na kuwekwa karantini. Gavana wa kaunti hiyo Samuel Oletunai aliyekagua ujenzi wa wadi ya vitanda 300 ya kuwatenga watu walioambukizwa virusi hivyo katika hospitali ya kaunti ndogo ya Ululunga alisema visa 20 vipya vya maambukizi ni raia wa kigeni wanaofanya kazi katika kampuni moja ya ngambo akiongeza kusema kwamba wafanyakazi wengine 300 wanaofanya kazi katika kampuni hiyo wamepimwa tunaye alisema kaunti yake iko macho na tayari kukabiliana na kisa chochote kipya cha maambukizi ya covid-19 as the curve continues to tick upward we must all take responsibility as no safe no one is safe until everyone is safe we must therefore observe hygiene and the safety measures put in place as control of the virus is largely based on individual discipline it is feared that the number of covid-19 cases may rise in the coming days if citizens do not observe the guidelines put in place wakati huo huo kamati ya hazina ya kukabiliana na ugonjwa wa covid-19 katika kaunti ya Samburu imesema itahakikisha kuwepo kwa maji ya kutosha katika vituo vyote vya miji ya kaunti hiyo kupitia uchimbaji visima na kusambaza maji kwa malori katika juhudi zake za kukabiliana na ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Kaimu katibu wa kaunti hiyo Bosco Ole Samburu amesema pesa zilizotengwa na bunge la kaunti hiyo kwa janga la COVID-19 tayari zimetolewa. Pesa zingine za hazina hiyo zitatumiwa kufadhili mipango mingine kama vile ugavi wa chakula kwa makundi yaliyoathiriwa zaidi. Uh, we are prepared for this for this hazard. We have ensured that the, the, there's a lot of personnel, particularly from health sector. We're also involving our administrators, our chiefs, to ensure that they disseminate the same information. They do the monitoring in the villages, so at least we have information in every village to ensure that all people are safe. Kwingineko huko Tiganya, muungano wa makasisi wa kaunti ya Meru unahimiza serikali ifungue tena makanisa chini ya masharti makali ukisema taifa hili linahitaji mwingilio wa kiroho kwenye vita dhidi ya COVID-19. Wakiongozwa na mwenyekiti wao Kasisi Domiziana Ugachwiri, viongozi hao wa kidini walisema wamepokea mafunzo kuhusu ugonjwa wa COVID-19 yaliyotolewa na Wizara ya Afya na wako tayari kuongoza ibada kwa kuzingatia masharti yaliyowekwa. We therefore expect that by 6 of July 2020 the council should be ready with all the directives for the reopening of church. Wakati huo huo gavana wa kaunti ya Kiricho Paul Chepkonye ametoa mchango wa lita 2207 za dawa za majosho ya mifugo ambazo zitagawiwa majosho 135 ya ngombe ili kuwasitiri wafugaji ambao wameathiriwa kiuchumi na janga la COVID-19. Chepkonye alisema wakulima hawajaweza kuzalisha ipasavyo wakati wa janga la COVID-19 hivyo basi wanahitaji kusaidiwa. These very hard economic times where we have COVID-19 where we have not had a chance to be productive we want to help our farmers at least to ameliorate the problems that they have economically Beatrice Getonyenge Teach Darubini ya Channel 1